Hello guys, welcome to our video. Today we are going to unbox a multi-function steam cleaner. This is most used in car care and uh, so we are going to unbox it for you and tell you how it works, what are the precautions that you have to take and uh, what are the things that you need to care of. So let's start the unboxing now. So this is the box now open. We get a guide with it. So next we get is this the accessories. So now the product comes. We also get two more accessories. So first I'm going to uh, remove this poly bag from the machine and I'll also tell you the specification of these machines, uh, you'll get all on my screen. So this is the hose, this is a good quality of hose in order to generate a hot steam. If we unbox this, this is the wire stand that we get. And here is the machine. So now let's start how to operate this machine. So we have already plugged this phone. So I can I'll show you. Here is a dead switch. But before getting the switch on, you have to fill the tank of the steamer. So the, the steamer's tank is of 1.8 liter water capacity, where which we are going to refill it. It's a brass tank. Please do not use any uh, detergents or any uh, choking type of liquid in the tank because your nozzles and uh, your uh, machine will get damaged if you use any type of other liquid. Also use RO or DM water in order to like fill up the machine. I am just filling almost a liter of water so that I can show you how it operates. And now we can turn it, turn the red button off and wait for at least two minutes because the boiler will take two minutes in order to uh, get heated up and after that you will see the steam effect here it is also a cover which you have to remove in order to check the steam cover so till the time the steamer gets heated up as we have already turned on the switch I will show you some of the accessories that we get with this so once the steamer will get on you will see a green light over here I will show you what accessories do we get we get this small brush that you will help to get degrease the engine of the car. Uh, one is in plastic and one is of uh, metal. This is the stand basically where if you want to hold the rods, these rods basically are the connectors when you have to reach some area which is longer than the steamer's handlebar. So you can use uh, this stand for it. This is the steamer basically nozzle, extension nozzle. We can connect it here if you want to. It will get this way connected okay you'll see how uh, it's basically an angle by where if you want to uh, clean something by an angular way you can use this I'm going to use this for the video this is basically a tool of a steamer which is used to clean window screens or something these are the extension shafts basically for the steamer if I want to increase the length I can use this extension shaft and this is uh, basically for the wire wrapping I can attach it here in order to wrap the wire you can see it over here this is the basically the liquid pouring uh, cup and these are the major accessories and this is a small microfiber if you want to use uh, these kinds of cleaning tools you can pour a microfiber cloth on it by this way you can clean with the microfiber as well so this is also one tool, this is majorly used for window and uh, uh, your car uh, windshields cleaning. It is a rubber attachment over here, it's a rubber attachment, how it will connect it to it, I'll show you. We have to remove this microfiber, we have to use this 
end part of this. This will connect this way and by this way we can connect the steam. I'll show you after the video. So now you can see that green light is turned on. That means we are ready to go with the steamer. So I'll just show you how the steam comes out and how it is useful to us. You can see here in the handlebar of the steamer, there is a push button by which you can you can also lock while continuous steaming, but we don't recommend that. So you can see the steam type, I'll just show you. So now let me tell you about the handle uh, operation filters. Here you get a steam option. Okay, so here is a speed regulator of for steam. If you want to minimum steam or maximum steam, I'll show you how it works. I'll keep it downwards. This is the minimum steam. If I increase this regulator, the steam gets more and more. Now you can see the actual pressure of the steam. This is exact of pressure when you keep it on a maximum. And I can put a lock on it. If I want to lock this, I can lock this. But I have not locked this. You can see the pressure now. I'll show you with connecting some tools this way. I'll show you how. I'll see it here. See, first time it's free. See the type of steam it is. So the steaming effect. This. So I'll show you how to connect these extension rods. I'll just check which one will suit first. This one. So you have to just connect it. It's connected. If I want to go with any of the tool now, I can just put this tool. And one more precaution that I would like to tell, please do not, when once you suddenly off the machine, please do not open this knob. Because this is a boiler which is containing high pressure of steam, first you have to uh, completely get the steam pressure out of the nozzle. After one or two hours, then you can open up the knob. I'm 